In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize the triage questions in any protocol to match the policies and preferences of your care team. In this example, we're going to customize the pediatric eye, pus, or discharge protocol. I'll press next here so we can see the questions, and let's scroll down to the bottom. In this protocol, there are two questions dealing with standing orders for prescription antibiotic eye drops. There's the question down here where the nurse calls in those antibiotic eye drops, and so the child can stay at home. And there's this question up here for an organization that does not use standing orders in this case. Let's say that your organization doesn't use standing orders for prescription antibiotic eye drops. So you don't want this question here. You'd really like to hide this question so it's not visible. And then if you think a little bit more about it, this question here will make a little bit more sense to your triage nurses if it actually said, if the eye has yellow or green discharge, or if the eyelashes are stuck together, that's when this question, which is in the C today in the office, pertains. So let's look at how we make those changes to this protocol. I'll start by going to the menu underneath my name and choosing customization. I then need to sign in to my administrator account. If you don't know how to sign into your administrator account, please see our other training video on setting up your administrator account. I arrive at the overview for the different types of customization you can do within Clear Triage, and I want to customize a protocol, so I'll click on Protocols. In the search box, I will type iPUS to find the pediatric eye pus or discharge protocol. And we want to edit the triage questions, so I will click on the Edit Questions button. Let's scroll down to the bottom. And the first thing we want to do is we want to hide this question about calling in with a standing order because we don't have a standing order. So I'll move to the trash can, which will allow me to delete or hide that question. I'll click on the trash can. And the question is marked so it will not appear when your nurses are actually doing triage. Next, let's change the text on the question up here. I'll click on the pencil icon to edit that question. I'll highlight that text to get rid of it. And then we want this to say, eye with yellow green discharge or eyelashes stuck together. Once I have that typed in, I will press save. And so I've now I've made the two changes I wanted. I've hidden this question here and I've edited the text on this question. I will press Save Changes, and I'll get a confirmation dialog that tells me, once I save this, all of the nurses in my organization who are taking triage calls will be using this protocol rather than the original version. That is what I want to have happen, so I will save and publish this protocol. I will return to the list of protocols, but now I'm ready to go back to Clear Triage, so I will click on Back to Clear Triage, so that way I can see our customized protocol and make sure everything is the way I want. So in the search box, I will click, and again I will find that protocol, go to Next, scroll down to the bottom, and you can see there's only one question in the home care. The standing order question is gone, and this bottom question here in the See Today in Office has the text that I typed in, eye with yellow-green discharge or eyelashes stuck together. That's how you can make simple changes to the triage questions in any protocol. Let's take a look at the other types of changes that are available within a protocol. I'll go back to customization, click on protocols, and up top here are the two protocols that I have customized. I'll click on the eye, pus, or discharge protocol, and click on Edit Questions again. Let's take a quick look at the two questions we changed. You can see this question up here that I edited. If I hover over that label that says it was edited, I do get a note that has the original text that was in there. And then as we talked about previously, I can also see the text of that question that I hid. I can always click on Restore to bring that question back, but again, I want to keep that hidden. The changes that I'm going to make now might be slightly less clinically realistic, but I want to show you the functionality in Clear Triage to make the changes that your organization desires. 
So as well as hiding and editing questions, I can also move questions to different dispositions. So let's say that your organization felt that eye pain should be seen immediately in the office rather than just sometime today in the office. I can find that question and I can click on an arrow to move it a bit at a time, or I can drag that question so I can hold my mouse button down and drag it to the desired position. I can also add a question. So let's say that your organization wanted to see children immediately in the office if they'd had a recent eye injury. I can click on add a question, type in recent eye injury, click on save, and there you can see the question that I've added. Of course, I can move that to somewhere else in this disposition or a different disposition, wherever makes logical sense for your nurses in the triage. Finally, I can add a disposition. So look at the fever question here. Fever returns after going away greater than 24 hours and symptoms are worse or not improve. So there's a possibility of an infection. Let's say that your organization wanted to see those children today or tomorrow, not necessarily today, since that is currently in the see today in office disposition. The see today or tomorrow disposition is not used in this protocol. So I would click add disposition, find that disposition in the list, and click add disposition. A confirmation dialog appears. I press OK. And now I can see the today or tomorrow in office disposition. I will take the question that I want in that disposition and I will move it down into that disposition. When I press save changes and then save and publish that, now that new version of the protocol is available for everyone to use. Finally, let's say that you've made changes in a protocol, but you want to discard your custom changes and go back to the original Schmidt Thompson protocol. For example, this swimmer's ear protocol. If I click on that, I can note here that the protocol was modified by me back in December. But let's say that we've talked in our organization and decided that we want to go back to the standard protocol. I can click on the button here to revert to the original. I get a confirmation saying that this is going to discard all of my custom changes that I've made to these questions. That's what I want to do. So I will press revert to original. And now the only customized protocol for my organization is the I pus or discharge protocol. It's important to note as you're customizing questions within a protocol that Dr. Schmidt and Dr. Thompson update their protocols every year based on changes in national guidelines, new evidence, research, and feedback from users in practices, clinics, and call centers around the world. Each year when those updated protocols become available, you'll want to compare your customizations to their updates to make sure that your customizations still make sense and to make sure that they're still current in terms of best practices. Because of that, you do want to make only the changes that are truly important to your organization in order to minimize the number of changes that you need to review each year to make sure that they're still current. Given that advice, however, we hope you find that making the changes that are important to your organization is easy and straightforward within Clear Triage. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to email or call us and we'll help you with the customization process.